Uh, hi everybody, just wanted to make a, a quick video here um, on the Create a State project and hopefully some tips uh, to help you out. I'm not going to read through all the directions um, uh, because you, you all can read, uh, but like I said, just trying to give you a few tips to help explain the project. So, um, you know, the, the top part just says that you're going to be, there's this new island that's found and uh, you're going to create the 51st state of the United States. And uh, you, your job is to make three different maps um, of, of this new state, of this new island. Uh, and you're going to make a political map, which is cities and counties, uh, a physical map, which is elevation, rivers, lakes, and then another map of your choosing. And there's some map, maps in the textbook that will help you out with this that I'll show you in just a second. Um, one major thing that you have to think about when you create your final drafts of the map um, is totals. And we've been through these, but you need to make sure that on all three maps you include um, all seven elements of totals. Um, here is some specifics about what you, you need on, on each map. Um, you need five counties, um, ten cities, plus the state capital, um, you know, uh, three rivers and lakes need to be labeled on the political map. Okay. On the physical map, you need to show changes in elevation, bodies of water, you know, five rivers and five lakes, and then like a specific feature, highest point, national park. And, you know, some of that stuff, you know, the highest point and stuff, you can do a simple Google search to find that out. Um, and then another map uh, that you can use uh, or that you have to do is like population density, vegetation environment, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, the page numbers that are on the directions refer to the, the physical textbook. Uh, the online textbook works a little bit different. And so that's what I wanted uh, to take a little bit of time to show you because that is really what you're going to have to look at to help you understand how to make your map. All right, so I'm going to go to the online textbook. This is my Schoology page. Uh, I have a link to the online textbook somewhere. What did I do with it? There it is. Okay, just remember that when you get in here, your username is 728student. Password is treaty with a capital T, 15 exclamation point. So I'm already logged in, but you would just log in right up here in the top right. Now here are all the chapters to the online textbook that we'll be going through this year, but you want to scroll all the way to the bottom to where it says maps. When you pull up the maps, just click read. And like I said, this is really what's going to help you understand how to make uh, the different maps. The first one that it's going to show you right away is the physical map that you need to make. And this is, you can make this as a, you know, uh, well, I mean, this is a good example of, of what a physical map should look like. Notice the different colors and then the key or the legend over here and how those different colors, um, you know, talk about how high the elevation is or is not, right? And so in the Minnesota River Valley, obviously a really low elevation, okay? Um, and so you need to have that on your map and then you also need to label rivers. Now, you're not creating the state of Minnesota. You're creating your own state. So you need to be unique and creative and come up with where are your high points in your country? Where are your low points? What are your lakes called? What are your rivers called? Okay. And then the next map is the political map. <clears throat> Notice uh, the county names, the major cities. These are things, a political map are things that are made up by humans. If you notice on the legend over here, there's a star for the state capital, and then you see St. Paul uh, with the star next to it, okay? Um, and, and so this is a political map. So you'll look at this for help uh, for your politi political map, but once again, you're not creating Minnesota. You need to be unique with the names you come up with and kind of, and have fun with it too. I mean, that's the idea of the project is to have fun. The next maps are going to be maps that you can use to think about uh, your other map. Right? And this can be a whole variety of different things. Um, this is major land um, sessions from the American Indians map. Right? Um, these are reservations uh, in Minnesota. Uh, so you could do a map like this where maybe you had different areas that you wanted to label. 
um, you know, whether they're reservations or you could even do, you know, amusement parks or whatever. But notice over here, there's a yellow brick for Ojibwe reservation. Um, and then you see the yellow bricks where the Ojibwe uh, reservations are at. Okay. And you can just go through and scroll these. The rest of these maps are all, you know, examples of other maps that you could use. You could do wildlife, right, and show where different wildlife lives in your state. Okay. Uh, the biggest thing that I would say with this project is to have fun with it. Um, I would start with a rough draft. And it's, it's pretty hard to do a final copy of, of this stuff because these maps do need to look neat and clean. Uh, and, uh, and But really just have fun with it and be creative. And uh, yeah, good luck.